Normally, I love waking up at La Land. I look out the window, I see the peacocks and the chapel, and I'm so happy. But today, I've woken up on the day that I have been dreading for some time. The lavender in the courtyard is being harvested. And I can't tell you how happy looking out of the window at that lavender has made me for months now. But it's over. I'm actually scared to look out of the window. Oh no. It's time! I can't believe it's come to this. Oh, I hate seeing the lavender go. It smells so good down here. <laughs> I bet it must be the sweetest smelling job. I'll come down and see you. Okay. Have you seen what's happening outside? No, what's All the lavender's going, Kirsty's harvesting oh, it. Oh no. And I'm heartbroken. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be lovely though to have it. Well, and to use it, that will be great. Yeah, but it's sad, it's sad that it's no longer going to be nice and purple. That's I'm glad it. you're managing to look on the bright side. It's usually me who can be optimistic, but here I'm like, no, what <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Oh, it's really Hi. idyllic in here. Flowers Hi. arriving. And, I'm finally and... making them. Oh, yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Pavlina bought me some tvorek. It's like um, Slavic cottage cheese. Okay. So it's somewhere between oh, cottage cheese nice. that you're used to and mm -hmm. like German quark. I'm making some surniki. They're like, um... You can see my blank expression yeah, no, there. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Wrong ideas. You mix it with some egg and a little bit of flour and sugar, and then mm. you fry them, kind of like cheesecake, pancake, hybrids. They're delicious. Oh, well, when is this going to be yeah, happening? About 15 minutes. Great, because you've got people like, <laughs> these are vultures. The vultures are circling yeah, Maria she, she, in the she kitchen. She bought them for me like a week ago, and she every day she's like, when are you making <laughs> You still not made them if they're in the fridge, you know they're in the fridge. <laughs> nice I gift, I see what you were doing there. I was like, I can make them, you know. <laughs> I have really else. No, 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 I'm gonna make them. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and cry outside with Kirsty oh. in the meantime. If you participate in the harvesting, then you'll feel more part of the process. Do you think so? Yeah. yeah. Shall I go and cut I'm a going bit to of it? Participate. Yeah. I Great. wrote this on my resume. Collecting lavender in France. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day for a sad event. Well, there's always next year to look forward to. Also, oh wow, they are so pretty. This is just like two of the bushes so far. <gasps> so, that oh, smells so good. Okay, well, I think I'm <laughs> gonna cut some with you. Absolutely, I've got you a pair of seconds already. Thank you very much. There you go. I'm going to start with this random blob. It's so sad because the lilies are turning at exactly the same time as the roses are going and the lavender all at once. So you just cut it down from like here? That's it, you know, yeah. Right there? I tend to grab a big handle, a handful rather, and I, I twist it so it all gathers together. Oh, And nice. then I cut through just as the, the sort of silvery leaves start. I bet you're a lot faster at this than I am. <laughs> a bit more practicing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're looking at, what, three times that per bundle, would you say? Yes, I, I would, yep. It's nice and dry, so it's, uh, it's amazing. And it's lovely to have flowers that are not just for beauty, but you harvest them. Yeah, they're really useful. More, or do we think that's enough for one bundle? I think that's plenty. Yeah. That's yeah. We'll get that tied up together, and that it can dry a little bit more. It's like being in the south of France. Are you having fun? Actually, I am enjoying it. See, I told you. Yeah, you're right. I can see the good in it. <laughs> it's now at the sort of sludge stage. Made it all into a semi-homogeneous state with the eggs and some mm. vanilla sugar, normal sugar, and now we just add a tiny bit of flour. Mm. And then there's a bit of a messy stage when you form them into... Yeah, so not the lavender sugar today. No, not, no, just the vanilla. And um, there's no need for this sifting thing. God, no. <laughs> God, no. Just sort of aerate it and you're good to go. And then, yeah, it has to be very, very soft because then the point is that you make kind of a bed of flour on a plate mm -hmm. and you put these very still sticky kind of scoops onto the plate of flour and you kind of scoop it and you coat that so with, you, you with, make them sort of vaguely uh, yeah like vaguely holdable not, not, yeah holdable but they have to be very very soft inside and then mm. the, you have that kind of flour crust and then you fry them oh i'm getting really really hungry <laughs> all right i'm going back to the lavender okay. i'm going to keep coming in you to check to regularly <laughs> Ready? 
Oh, that is a very, very good thing to hear because it doesn't look like much, but it's quite tiring. Kirsty, are you coming for some pancakes? Oh, yes, pancakes. <laughs> I can't imagine a more welcome sight after <laughs> bending down in the heat outside. I've never seen anything like it, so yeah. I've definitely never tried these. Yeah, so you, typically they'll be a bit less um, pancakey and they'll yes. be a bit bigger, but I'm not, maybe the quirk was a bit runny. Yes, okay. So, but still, I mean, mm, they, they smell good. good, they look good. Take yeah. an eye, can I take one? Yes, and then um, maybe go for this one because one? it'll be a more kind of intact. This one is still very hot, the other one. Okay. And then traditionally you have them with sour cream and jam, but you can do whatever you sour want. Sour cream and jam it is. I'm doing this the traditional okay, okay. way. Okay, Pavlina will be very happy with you. Yeah, I won't <laughs> dream of it any other way. Do you just plop it on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, you can put it on the side or on top, or whatever you want. And then you just have bites. With yeah, I'm the... putting it on the side. Yeah. Maybe a little more. Why hold back? Yeah, th this is a really nice um, strawberry jam. I think um, oh, it was a, a gift, scent or is it a gift from a guest. It's really, yes. really good. Yes, let's try that. Thank you. This is worth getting up for, isn't it? It is so, <laughs> so, so delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. You can thank Pavlina for getting the... the what is your fight to the death for the last ones? No, no, no. Go for it. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, Lisa for Chloe and maybe, I don't know, well, Philip probably <laughs> won't have one. Philip won't have any. Yeah. Yeah. And I reckon you and Pavlina need right. to swap yeah. one. Go for it. <laughs> You're ready to fight. <laughs> After harvesting lavender in the heat, because I think it's got to be over 30 degrees already, it's a boiling day, it's going to be a scorcher, I think it's time for me to have a shower for everyone's sake. I just saw a visitor walking past the window. Yeah, yes, there she is. Just right outside the window here. Oh, oh, she's had enough of us. There we go. Off they go. It's so dry at the moment here. We're in such a drought and it's the third year running that there's a drought. Luckily in this area, we have such beautiful trees that it's keeping everything looking green, but you can see from the grass that really the drought is a problem. These are looking so nice. Yeah. Oh, I like this. This is rather Japanese, this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to Ooh. mesh to the rooms, you know. Yeah. And, the uh... colors. The just little purple edge on the white petals. Yeah, this is my favorite. Yeah, it's really nice. And this is mint. That's the mint? Yeah, it's flowering now and it has a nice smell. So lavender mint, mm. it will smell nice in the You made so many. Yeah. You're going to fill all the rooms of the chateau. <laughs> yes. As far as my six. I love it. Really nice. We're so lucky to have all of these flowers in the garden. I can't believe it. Yeah. How do you feel about the lavender going? Well, I am sad, but also it's a part of life. It's a cycle. Uh, it's ended flowering. Something else will flower. You're being, everyone's being more philosophical than me today. <laughs> Everyone. I'm just like having a temper tantrum with the lavender going. <laughs> At least we've still got the dahlias. Well, this is it. The lavender is gone. The lilies are nearly over and the roses are finished. There are just a few little stragglers remaining. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. I think it's all okay. There's still so much of the lavender bush underneath. Every year it's covering more and more of the soil. Actually, it's starting to look pretty lovely even without the flowers. But if we go around here, we can see what it was all for, because kirsty has been working very hard. Here it is, the Lalande Lavender Factory. This makes it all worthwhile. And the smell, even just standing here, it's wonderful. So these are going to be left to dry, and then we can make potpourris for the bedrooms. It's going to be glorious. Oh my, oh look, there's so much more. I couldn't even see those behind the table and even hanging up by the back door. Oh, I feel as if I'm in Provence. I love it so much that honestly, I think I want to plant lots more of it. I'm thinking that maybe in the main courtyard, in the borders all around the base of each of the walls where Grant made the lovely flower beds uh, lined with stones, we could just plant a mass of lavender and then behind it have lots of things climbing up the walls, maybe more scented plants, but I know that it means that everything will be out in one go, maybe lasting two months only, 
but I think it's worth it. It's so, so glorious. The smell, I wish you could smell it. Dan, I used to take the sight of this van for granted in those happy, happy days. <laughs> and now it's a treat whenever I see it. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Look, I'm still trying to tempt you back, so <laughs> come to the attic. <laughs> I think this is the wrong thing. <laughs> we figured there wasn't enough pink. <laughs> come in, Dan, to your new pink room. <laughs> there, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah? So you're moving back in, right? It's a bit like, a, are you doing this so I don't move back in? <laughs> no, this is me trying to keep you here. I don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff in one room. In some ways, don't you think it's a little calmer than before, weirdly? Because it breaks up the pink with no. more... <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a lot. I mean, looks good. Thank you, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Yeah, just not for me. Oh, yeah, but I think it might be for Jack and Thomas. I think we have the seal of think, approval. Boys, do you like it? Is it a lot of pink? No. No, I think that's it. If you're not moving in, they are. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> there was when you were living here as well. Have you yeah, just that? man stuff though. <laughs> yeah, dirty pants and stuff like that. Different vibe. Obviously, we do miss those days. Yeah, yeah. How's everything going there at your yeah, grandfather's yeah. house? Good. <laughs> not pink. If you want me to come and do any decorating, no, 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 I'm no, absolutely we're good. ready we're to. Good. Right, get off there, please. Why are you settled? <laughs> do you like it here? Do you like it? <laughs> I'd say that's high enthusiasm <laughs> levels. <laughs> right, get off, please, with your shoes especially. <sighs> you know if it's just the room, we'd give you a different one. Yeah, no. Look, you can't say I haven't tried. Stop it, stop it, crazy. You, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, will you be back okay. soon for the pergola? Yeah, I'll be All back right. next week. Fantastic. So see you then. Yeah, yeah, see you then. Bye. Bye. They are very, very, very tiny apples. Yeah, they're a little bit sad apples, but I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm gonna sad apple them. sounds a bit like crab apple. Yeah, that's fair. Sad apple. Well, look, they're, they're... It's from the garden. They're old apples, yeah. Kirsty's going to get rid of them. But they're fine. So I've chopped them up and I'm going to put them in the plum sauce and it'll be great. And what are we having the plum sauce with? With pork. <gasps> it's going to be another great night. I can't pork talk about food and, right uh, now. The potatoes eaten. from the garden as well. I love it. Yeah. Hello, Andrew. Hi. Thank you for joining us for lunch today. Yeah, I've that is precisely why we invited you for lunch to offload courgettes onto oh, you. Oh, no, we are very happy. <laughs> you know, it's not a weapon. Oh, it could be. <laughs> Variety of uses. We're going to be eating courgettes for a week. And you're saying you've got good recipes for them? Courgette fruity. We've got um, courgette pasta. We can hollow them out. We can do oh, all sorts. We need all of your courgette recipes here. Courgette spaghetti. Courgette. Oh, that's like courgette. I like the name for it. Which was Mama does? Mama did with courgettes and peppers, um, stuffed with a. Yeah, oh, I stuffed, love them stuffed. They're, stuffed, they're uh, delicious with, with mince, meat. Yeah, mince. Yeah, the, bump, the fats, fatty. Yeah. Yeah, stuffed, delicious. Absolutely. Minced pork, lots of herbs. There'll be a sweet recipe with courgettes and as well. Okay, well, look, we're, we're all putting yeah, our thinking caps on. We're going to well, be brainstorming for Thank you. <laughs> Will Ricardo be happy, though? Oh, he loves a courgette. I hear go. you have been roped into looking at us. Let's go. Skylink, Starlink, what, what's it actually called? Tesla before? internet. Internet thing. <laughs> Finally, after years of absolutely terrible internet, a new mast was put in the local village and we've had perfect full 4G. It's been incredible. But for the last three months, it's just stopped working. It's intermittent, we can't upload anything. We're back to getting into the car and driving out to upload the videos. And I finally cracked and ordered Starlink. But now let's see if this works because honestly, all I need is a little bit of internet to make the vlog. Why is it so hard? So it's arrived, but none of us know what to do with it. Oh. Okay. But Andrew's feeling very brave. Oh, hang on, does it go inside? No, it surely goes outside. There's the instructions. Oh, I didn't see those. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Look Andrew. Look under the antenna. Don't be silly, I didn't think of moving anything. 
We've just realised oh, this is the sum total of the instruction manual. And that's the key thing. Support.starling. Which will just work straight away, seemingly. Yeah, put it Plug facing it the sun. And it does Wi Fi. Well, let's in. see if we can connect it to existing Wi Fi. Oh my goodness, this would be a dream. Are you beginning to re regret you came round? No, not at all. <laughs> there's, there's only two holes, it's wonderful. <laughs> so, there's one for power and one for the satellite. All right, let's then, go plug it let's in. Go. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to just stand it outside for a while. So and see if it's technical. Um, plug it in. I don't know why they don't employ you, honestly. Where's the socket? There. Here, I can I can do the socket. I've got this. Wait a second till we put the area on. Okay. Total control oh over the cables going on here. Oh, no. I'm putting you in charge of the Christmas lights this December. Yes. <laughs> I love untangling Christmas lights. Great, you've got a job. As long as it pays in champagne. This is getting better and better. What? Right. I think that this is part of my job. I'm in charge of the box. Here we go. Are we ready for this? There we go. <laughs> Big excitement in the kitchen. <laughs> I understand that you're using the instructions. It's really difficult. Yeah, as a fan, but could I read the instructions? They're very complex. I know, but we need this bit. We've it, got to that bit. No, this is just literally, it says you can select Starlink on your phone. That's that would it. be good to do. That's it. It wasn't really happy downstairs in the courtyard, so now it's being tried in my study. Oh, that's happy. Was it happy? It was very happy. It was working. The oh. only thing was that when we had it there, you People were proud of it. Yes. Yeah, this would be better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep the Starlink alive. Oh. This is a very, very technical installation. It's wonderful. And we've used the broom to find a hook and everything. I am so impressed and it's working and I have internet and I love you. And you'll never see you again because it'll be Netflix now forever. Yeah, I don't need friends anymore. <laughs> no, we'll see you. <laughs> Thank you bye -bye, so darling. much, Andrew. We'll Thank see you. you. Next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye. I love you with your broom. <laughs> the smallest broom in the world. <laughs> this is not chateau sized broomage. Hi, Maria. Yes, it's courgettes. I knew, yeah. I knew I'd but see I mean, a courgette. Look at how many we've got. This, again, these are just like the small ones. Yeah, you're really getting at the baby stage. At yeah, the yeah. I, I told Kirsty to just to get them. Yeah. Great. And Chloe took the flowers away as well. So hopefully yes. that means like at least a week sort of delay. <laughs> and then things should start to calm down yeah. the courgette front. Yeah. What are you making with them? I'm going to make the roast tarts again. Remember? So oh, they were so pretty. Them. Yeah, and then there's a tomato sauce. I love those. Them. That's one of my favourite yeah. starters. Yeah, and um, it means you can get through many of them. So that's Perfect. great. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't know you were out here working on this. Yeah, I'm trying to um, make this door, uh, this shutter beautiful again. And which shutter is it? Uh, it's a kitchen shutter. I know it's okay. not a priority, but um, because we already did one. <laughs> on so one. now there's one that's stripped and one, one that is, isn't. Yeah, and I painted it today. Oh, so it's done so completely. So it will be painted again. And this Lovely. paint is very good. It will be dry in, a, in an hour. Yeah, so it's fast. It's a very fast project. An yes. Easy project. That we can so this finish. paint is, anyone who wants to know, Parma Grey by Farron Ball. It's really nice. I, I love, love the colour. Yeah, and it is pretty. It has no smell. It's easy to work with. Yes. Are you um, not sick of the colour? No. You painted so many things this colour, you must just be sick of looking at it. No, no, I love everything blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty lucky here. <laughs> okay, I'll let you get on with it. See you later. <laughs> Whilst I'm down here, I thought that I would look and see how the other shutter is looking that Pavlina's already done. And it's really nice. So finally we'll have two lovely tidy shutters here. Another night. Another glorious meal ahead of us. I feel so spoiled every weekend, honestly. Well, it's nice. like living in a restaurant. Thanks, thank you very much. It's like living in my favourite restaurant. <laughs> yeah, with your favourite food group. Courgettes. I think, luckily, I do actually like them. It's just, you know, yeah. one can have a lot of them. But I have Absolutely. to say, Look, I try my best yeah, to like honestly. make things. You make it like fun. Different things so that, yeah, exactly. It's fun you and it's not fun. the same thing. Sometimes I hide them, sometimes I make them the star. 
I like it a lot. Yeah. But uh, we have to talk to Kirsty, or I think you have to talk to Kirsty because she needs to stop planting so many. <laughs> Marie warned me about this. She was like, oh, you're about to be completely just. But you remember, my mother is coming back soon. Yeah. And if there's not a glut of courgettes, my mother will think we've mismanaged the garden because my mother expects vast amounts of courgettes every day. Right. So she's going to be delighted. Okay, well, brilliant, brilliant. Then maybe, and maybe she's got more recipes there. We can do. Oh, I'm going to be honest. Mummy, stop listening now. She really doesn't. She doesn't do anything this good with a courgette. Oh, no. Oh, no, then. <laughs> what about um, selling the courgettes in your shop? Do you think people would travel far and wide for a lot of Seems. Like, let's face it, every single one of our neighbours is also suffering from a glut yeah. of yeah. courgettes. There's a product for everyone. There's an audience for everything. <laughs> And a consumer. So, Courgette uh, postal service. Yeah, yeah. I, we could, I don't know, carve a peacock into them, make them, you know, fit the brand. <laughs> well, enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, see you on the other side. Nice apron, Pavlina. Yeah, blue and white. Very nice. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Tonight is the lovely napkin rings with the peacocks. Yeah. I think these are my favourite, Natty. They're amazing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they they look great. Nice. Yeah, I think this, at the moment, this is my favorite table combination. I'm going out for a drink before dinner. Stuffed pork with pork mince, mm. and then we have green plum, apple and ginger mm. sauce, and the cereal potatoes from the garden. Oh. And the apples are also from the garden. Yeah, the apples. from the garden too. Probably the rhubarb as well, let's face it. Thank you. Thank you. I love living here. <laughs> I know, Maria's amazing. It's a wonderful chocolate, chocolate uh, dessert with chocolate mint from the garden oh. and black currants from the garden too. Right. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Maria is amazing. Not only can she cook, but she can play like that. Thank you all for joining us at La Lang today. A huge thank you to my patrons who are making all of this possible. And to all of my patrons, if you haven't seen this week's patron video, it's all about the final touches to the 12 bedroom. Philip and I finished the gallery wall and he's upholstering the little stool for the dressing table in, of course, a hedgehog toile. Today, I'd like to say a special thank you to Beverly Veras Yusufian, Lucas Wallen, April Westerveld, Linda Wiest, Christine Wilson, and David Young. Thank you to absolutely all of you who are watching. You make a huge difference to this channel. And I look forward to seeing you all again on Thursday.